artists. Now we're moving on to the next project. So this is actually a two week project. I'm not asking for it to be due the following Monday, okay? I'm gonna give you two weeks to do this because I am breaking this video up into different parts. The first part was introducing our lines where I was drawing it with you and giving you the vocabulary word. The second part was for you to practice doing those lines by drawing some pictures. You drew a few with me and you came up with some of your own on, you could have actually just done it right on the back of your other line paper, okay? Now, this is the actual art project because that is my beginning part, my introduction. This actual art project of using line now is going to be making a cupcake. We're gonna make a line cupcake. So this project, again, doesn't have to be completed all at once. I want you to take a two week time frame and work on it little by little. You don't have to do everything all at once. I know it could be a lot. So please, that first part of the lines and the pictures can be done in one week. And then this is the second part done in the second week. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is make a line cupcake. We're gonna do that together. And I'm also gonna ask you to color this in. You're gonna do it with crayon, okay? So let's draw this line cupcake together. We're gonna start off with, now you have your piece of paper. So I'm gonna just have this area right here, but I want you to go towards the bottom of your paper. If you put this first line in up too high, your cupcake is gonna go off the page. You're not gonna be able to fit it all in. So wherever the, your paper is, I don't wanna box myself in right now, but whatever, wherever on the bottom of your paper, and don't go across, we're gonna make a horizontal line, but don't go all the way across the bottom of the paper. I just want you to make a short, or medium to short horizontal line. That's gonna be the bottom of our cupcake. Now, the sides of our cupcake are gonna be diagonal lines. So I'm gonna go over here and remember, a diagonal line is on a slant or on an angle. So I have diagonal line touching the bottom of the cupcake over here. I wanna go across with my eye and measure and I'm gonna do a diagonal line on the other side, on the right side. Now, this is gonna be a cupcake wrapper. So the top part, I have to connect. I'm gonna connect it with a zigzag line. You don't have to make the zigzags too close. If you do it too close, it's gonna be hard. It's gonna be hard if you go like this, it's probably gonna be too hard to trace over it with the crayon. So don't be afraid to stretch out your zigzag lines. So I'm gonna go diagonal down, diagonal up, diagonal down, diagonal up. I'm gonna come across and touch it to the other side. In the middle of my cupcake, I want to use some vertical lines. So that's the way I can pull off the wrapper. I know where exactly where to grab it. So I only need three vertical lines. I want you to start in the middle and do your first one, a top down vertical line. Now, you're gonna to go to the right and you can do a second vertical line. You could go back to the left, make sure it's spaced out evenly and you do your third vertical line. Okay, that is the bottom wrapper part of my cupcake. The top part of my cupcake the actual cupcake that I'm gonna be eating or just pretending to eat, I'm gonna make with a down curve. So I start on one end and this can be done a little bit higher because I also have to have room for some delicious icing. I'm gonna start here and do a down curve to the other side of the cupcake and this is the cake part. I need to put on icing now. I used my down curve but now I'm gonna use a wavy line in order to make the icing. Now, I would go about just towards the top. It doesn't have to be all the way at the top because then you're not gonna have room for sprinkles. So I want you to start probably about halfway over here. And remember that wavy line goes up with a curve and down with a curve, up with a curve and down with a curve. So I need it to look like that. Again, stretch it out. It doesn't have to be very close together. That will be hard to trace later on. Okay, so I have my wrapper part, my cupcake part, and that is the delicious icing. 
I need to make sprinkles now and use my last line. I've been able to use my vertical, horizontal, diagonal, zigzag, wavy, and the only one, oh, curve, and the only thing that I'm missing now is my loopy line. So I'm going to use a loopy line to make some sprinkles. I'm not going to get crazy with doing a lot of loops. I just need about two. So I'll go up and around and down, up and around and down, and that's my first sprinkle. Up and around and down, up and around and down, two, and up and around and down, up and around and down, done, three. Now I know some of you might wanna put a cherry on your cupcake, but we're not making cherries. It's not a Sunday. I just want a regular plain cupcake. So I just want you to make your cupcake like this first with regular pencil. Afterwards, you're gonna go back and you're going to trace over. It's again, good practice now to trace over these lines with different colors. And I'm gonna show you how to do that in a second. Okay, so the next part now is coloring it. If you have markers at home, you could do this two ways. If you do have markers, that would be great. You can outline these lines in a marker first, and then I want you to go back and color in the middle, in the inside, with a crayon. That light and dark contrast will make your cupcake really pop. But if you do not have a marker, that's okay. I do not want you coloring this whole thing in marker. I'd rather you use a crayon. So if you don't have a marker just to do the outlining, that's fine. Just use crayon for this whole project. And what you're gonna do is take your crayon and you're going to outline again and color in nice and neat on your own and color in the cupcake. So I'm gonna pick a couple colors right now and I'm gonna start off with my, actually my red. And I wanna make my wrapper red. So this again gives you practice of drawing your lines because now you're tracing over the lines that we just had drawn. So I'm gonna take my red marker and I want you to trace on top. Okay, so I have my diagonals. I would trace over my horizontal. I would trace over, and I'm gonna erase this because it's turning my marker. This is the only thing that it's hard doing this with marker and dry erase. So I'm gonna trace over this, zigzag again with, and don't forget, you have to trace over the vertical lines as well because that is the inside part of our cupcake. Again, I'm just gonna erase it first because I don't want my marker getting black and yucky. Okay, so there is my red bottom part of the cupcake. Now, when you go to color this in with crayon, very, very important. I want you to color in the same direction. I do not want you going like this, side to side, and then you go up and down, and then you go this way, and then you go like that, because then that looks like scribble scrabble. I don't want that to happen. I want you to start practicing and getting in good habits of coloring the proper way. And I want you to color it in the same direction. So if you choose to start coloring it up and down, that's fine but now you have to color up and down, up and down, the whole entire way from top to bottom, like so. If you're gonna color it like that, and then you would do the whole thing. If you wanna go side to side, that's fine. You could start from the bottom and maybe work your way up, and then you would just have to do shorter strokes as you go in between those zigzags. I'm not gonna waste our video time right now coloring in this whole thing. I'll show you, I'll show you a finished product when I'm done. Okay. But that is my red bottom part of the wrapper. My next part is I'm going to do the icing. So remember, when we did our icing, the icing was the wavy line. And icing goes on the top of your cupcake. So I'm not going to touch these sides right here. Do not do that part. I'm only going to start at my wavy line. Let me just erase it so I don't dirty my marker. So I'm going to do my wavy line. And again, the icing goes on top of the cupcake. So all I'm going to do is trace that top half. And because I used green outline, I need to color in once again. Now don't color over your little uh, sprinkles there. I'm going to go and I can color this in again. If I want to go maybe side to side on this one, 
See how my marker turned black because I go over. Again, you want to go nice and slow. Stay in your lines. Try to do this as best you can and as neat as you can. And I want you to go around and you would color in the whole top part of your cupcake green. You could pick a color. If you want to do rainbow sprinkles, if you want one or two colors, that's up to you. You can choose whatever you want for your sprinkles, which are the loopy line. I'm going to choose blue for mine. And I'm going to go over this. with my blue marker, okay? Or your blue crayon. And I have blue sprinkles. Green icing, blue sprinkles, red wrapper. And now, the final part of this, I can't forget about those curved lines. The sides, remember this was that actual cake part. So when we were drawing this, it was the cake. I want you to choose a color. Now, if you wanna make it a chocolate cake, you could use brown. If you like vanilla, you can use yellow. If you want to do strawberry or red velvet kind of cupcake, you can pick red or pink. It's up to you. I don't mind. This is your cupcake. You be creative. You pick what you like. I don't mind at all. So what you do need to do, though, is outline the rest of our cupcake. I don't want to leave this in pencil, and I don't want to leave it black. So again, I really don't want to mess up my marker over here. So I'm going to take my yellow because I'm going to have a yellow cupcake and I would trace over the sides of the cupcake for with my yellow for vanilla. Now when I go to color this in one last time, I want you to go probably the best way to do this is to go side to side because I have a longer span. So you could start off at your edge going short, 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 but then as you go across, you can extend it and you can have a longer stroke, creating more, co covering up more space. So you can go all the way, but don't go so fast that you go out of the lines. And then when you get to the other end, you can slow down. And again, you would color this in and work your way back and forth and go and color the whole entire part up to the icing. and down to the wrapper. Okay, again, I'm not gonna waste the whole time in our video showing you how to color this. I'm sure you could do a great job on your own. I'll show you an example of my finished project and that might help you as well. I wanna see your very best coloring as best as you possibly can. Take your time, don't rush, and remember you have a whole nother week to do this part of the project. So again, this is a two week project. Take your time. If you have any questions, please reach out to me. Please ask uh, along the way, halfway, we will have our live meeting so you can show me what you're working on. Again, it doesn't have to be finished, but again, if you have a question, you can ask me in our live meeting. And remember, please put this finished project when you are done in our team's assignment. That is where you are putting all your completed projects from now on. I don't want to receive any emails with it um, or in the posts or chat because I want to keep everything organized and together in our team. It already has your full name in our classes and all your projects will be in one place. Okay, everybody. Good luck. I can't wait to see your yummy, delicious cupcakes. Bye, everyone.